Have you ever heard a piece of advice that was so life-changing that you couldn't wait to share it? Well, that's happened to me many times. As executive producer at LinkedIn, I've had the chance to meet right here in this studio some of the most inspiring people in the world. On Best Advice, I resurface words of wisdom that I was lucky enough to hear firsthand. With it, I hope to start a conversation about our own career journeys. Today, I'm bringing you some great career advice from Mindy Kaling and Brene Brown. Let's start with Mindy Kaling. Of course, we all know her for her acting and writing in the hit sitcom The Office, but that's only the beginning. She's the founder and CEO of Kaling International, one of Time Magazine's most influential companies. She's produced shows like The Mindy Project, Never Have I Ever, and the recent Tony Award-winning musical Strange Loop. Here's Mindy. My interests are, in general, the stories of women trying to find love and career success who are, you know, very flawed. I had really strange training for that. My training for that was eight years of the show, The Office, and it was like very unglamorous, not about dating, not about love and relationships. And I think that was one of the best things that ever happened to me because I was taught at a young age, like, this isn't your direct interest, but you're gonna have to learn how to get good at it if you wanna keep your job. And I felt like that is a really valuable lesson. That's the reason why these other shows are successful is because I was forced to become trained and be really good at something that was not, like, you know, didn't come so easily to me. Next is Brene Brown. She visited LinkedIn Studios and sat right here to talk to us about her book, Dare to Lead. Brene is a research professor, a six-time New York Times best-selling author, and host of two podcasts. Her work is on empathy and vulnerability, but she had to transition from being a researcher to founding a company, and in that process, she had to dig deep into what she calls courageous leadership. Kind of across sectors right now, what I feel like is a real leadership crisis. I asked, what's the future of, of, of leadership? And the answer across the board was the same, which is we need braver leaders. People are not engaging in tough conversations. People are avoiding uncomfortable, awkward, potentially hurting someone's feelings. They said, because I can't do it perfectly and I'm gonna get criticized and I'm gonna say something wrong or do something wrong or be wrong and I'm gonna have my ass handed to me. And my answer is, yeah, there's no way you're gonna talk about those kind of topics and not have your ass handed to you, period. And so I think if we wanna be brave, one, it's not fear that gets in our way. We're all afraid. It's how we self-protect that moves us away from our integrity, being brave, taking risks. And then the second thing is courage is 100% teachable, observable, and measurable. And so the question of where do I start is think about how do I self-protect when I feel under attack, when I he feel vulnerable, uncertain, unsure, do I go into needing to be the knower? Which leads to like massive amounts of bullshitting as opposed to just being the learner and not having to be right, but being the learner and trying to get it right. Now I wanna hear from you. What's the best advice you have ever received? Tell me in the comments. If you want more advice from the world's top leaders, make sure to follow my best advice newsletter here on LinkedIn News.